Hi, I'm Ben Turpin and welcome to Whip Finish Industries, the final step in your fly fishing experience. Today I want to talk to you about the crest bug. Crest bugs are typically found in limestone spring creeks in slow moving water in freestone streams. These are uh, crustaceans that the fish can feed on year round. So in the winter time or dead of summer when there's not a lot of uh, insect activity, these crustaceans can be found throughout the creek, typically in riffles and underneath rocks. And uh, when the trout find these, it's an, it's an easy, high protein meal. So if you typically, if you're out like in central Pennsylvania on Spring Creek, the crest bug is a great go-to pattern. Uh, you can also fish them in the Lehigh Valley, in like the Little Lehigh, the Saucon, the Bushkill Creek over in New Jersey on the Musconetcon and the Peak West. Uh, this is a, a great, easy to tie crest bug pattern that can be in your box year round that'll be effective. So we're gonna start out with just a standard um, nymph hook or wet fly hook in the vise. And we're gonna use some uh, ADOT olive dun colored thread. And we're gonna make a little base. And the one thing about a crest bug that we wanna talk about is how wide and flat they are. So how do we create that wide flat body? We're actually gonna take just some standard cotton. This is some cotton ball that I've got shredded up. And we're gonna make a little cotton underbody which is gonna be uh, used to widen the fly and give it a, a, a different shape than your standard uh, mayfly nymph. So we're gonna take this cotton that I dubbed onto the thread and we're just gonna build a little cotton base that we're gonna wrap our lead wire over. And once you get your cotton tied in, we're gonna take some 15 thousandths lead wire we're going to tie that in just behind the eye. And we're going to, oops, that wire broke. That's okay. Now we're going to take that wire and we're going to wrap it around the cotton gently. You don't want to pull it tight into the cotton. You just want to kind of gently wrap it around the cotton. And we're going to go about halfway down the hook shank pinch it off and then we're going to wrap our olive thread through it and kind of wrap it into place and then build up a little dam of thread to taper it back down to the hook shank. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take just a small grizzly hackle. Um, I just kind of save kind of the what you would call the junk feathers off of your dry fly necks or if you've got a small wet fly neck, you can use either or. And we're gonna take that feather and tie it in at the bend of the hook. The trick is, is you don't want it to have really long fibers. You want it to be sized appropriately for the hook shank. Uh, so if you're using like a size 16, size it on your hook and hackle gauge for a size 16 or even down to an 18, because you don't want a huge bushy fly. Now we're gonna take some just some uh, scud and sow bug dubbing in a tan color. And we're gonna dub that on our thread. This is a real shaggy dubbing that also has lots of uh, antron and sparkle fibers in it as well. And it just makes a great, really rough body for a crest bug. Crest bugs are sometimes called sow bugs or pill bugs. Um, I think they're a great all around pattern of fish, especially when there's not much going on in a limestone spring creek. If you don't have a big hatch of mayflies going on, um, the fish will key in on the crest bugs and the freshwater shrimp. They're high protein, lots of energy, and um, a great food source for these fish. Now you can see this is a pretty roughly dubbed bug and it's fairly wide and I was pretty liberal with my dubbing. I'm gonna take my hackle pliers, I'm gonna wrap this grizzly hackle. I'm gonna palmer it through, kind of just like you would do like tying a woolly bugger or um, like a stimulator where you wind it through the body. You don't wanna make it so thick in there that, the, that you lose the body and all you have is hackle. We went through and we got one, two, three, four, five, about five or six turns on a size 16. 
I take a couple more turns to make sure I've got everything locked down. I take my scissors and trim up any of those stray fibers. I'm going to do my whip finish around the hook. Pull it tight. Try not to crowd the eye. Nothing worse than when you get to the stream and not being able to get in to tie the fly on. All right, so a crest bug has a smooth top and then it's got its little legs sticking out the side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna trim this hackle on the top nice and tight to the body of the fly. So we've got our legs underneath and we've got a smooth top. Now I'm gonna take a pair of smooth jawed pliers, gotta be smooth jawed so you don't cut into the fibers of the, of the hackle or the, or the cut your thread. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna squish it and flatten it out. And that's gonna do two things. It's gonna give us that nice wide body that we're looking for. It's gonna kind of flatten it on the bottom. And the other thing it's gonna do is it's gonna give this fly a nice rocking motion when it gets floating down the bottom of the stream. And that's how a crest bug, crest bugs don't swim very well. So when they get knocked loose from a rock, they just kind of float back and forth. And that's what we want, that nice rocking motion in our fly. So this is a very basic fly, but it's a great fish catcher. If you go down through our uh, list of materials that we've provided, you can click on any of the products you may need, the, uh, the sow bug dubbing or the crest bug dubbing. Um, if you need to get some hackle, we have the grizzly hackle, the olive done thread, it's all there for you. You can get exactly what we use to tie this fly right off our materials list. So we thank you for watching Whip Finished Industries and we look forward to seeing you next time.